everybody, it's Christina, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am doing a, a, uh, She Read What, and this is book number three. Uh, this is the third week I've been doing this. I'm telling you, it is so cold where I live, like, so, so cold, and it's not really that it's, like, cold outside, it's the wind chill. So, I just woke up, um... A couple weeks ago, I filmed my Christmas, what I got for Christmas, and I put it, uh, I'm posting it exactly on Christmas, so hopefully you've seen it by now. If not, you should go check it out. I just want to stress that I am not bragging, but I enjoy watching these as long as everybody else on the internet seems to enjoy seeing what everybody else got. Um, but moving right along. The second book I read is called Serial Killers and Psychopaths. Um, this is just, I know this is kind of weird, but uh, I used to be really into, I, I, like every other girl, I guess, uh, serial killers. So I bought like so many books. I bought like Women That Kill. Um, there's another, it's called like uh, Serial Killers A to Z. And, and I like this one the best because it, uh, it's a lot bigger. Um, I did mark the one that really liked the best. And that was Edmund Kemper. And the reason I did him was because I saw him in, uh, oh gosh, what is that called? Mindhunters. If you've ever seen that Netflix show, it's actually pretty, pretty good. I did enjoy it. Let's see, there was another one that I really liked. Of course, there's John Wayne Gacy, um, Clifford Olson, which you may not know about, but he... Gary Ridgeway, which, if you don't remember, was the Boston Strangler, I believe. No, the Green River Killer. And then another one who I... I Eileen Warnos. I think she's a very touchy subject. Because I saw a documentary on her that used to be on Netflix. I'm not sure if it's actually on there anymore. But it was kind of messed up. Like, it, it's, it would suck to have your lover turn on you like that and then blame you for it all. And then the fact that in there she was just begging to die at the end. She was just like, just... I don't care about last meal, I don't want anything, and her last meal was literally like a cup of coffee. But it's got like Douglas Clark and Carol Bundy and, and Brady and Myra Henley, I think. Um, one of them that I find also is Paul Bern Bernardo and Carla Homolka. Um, you know, she re she was released from prison a couple of years ago, and she's completely changed her, her, um, her name. But, oh yeah, here's, here's Ian and Myra. But I do notice that, um, a lot of the times it is a sad girl who gets preyed on by a guy. But don't get me wrong, there was one, I think her name is... Nanny Doss, she did away with people. And then there was, let me find, Belle Guns. She was like 280 pounds. She was a stout woman. And uh, unlike Nanny Doss, she killed to kill because she didn't like you or she just wanted your money. I, I mean, this one's really not one that I can, like, critique and go through and be like, hey, yeah, you know, the plot was terrible. But I just felt like this one would be fun to read and also something different for all my, because uh, it's nonfiction. Because so, I want to mix in nonfiction and fiction. And uh, Me Before You and Frankenstein have all been under the fiction category. So I wanted to kind of spice it up a little bit. And uh, I, you know, I give this book a solid, probably eight out of ten. Um, it's fun to read. Uh, it's not, you know, not really to take serious, but it is fun to read. 
so that is my book talk for today i will let's go see our next victim this time i'm just gonna go to one of these look at you guys and close i just close my eyes and we're just gonna I don't even know where anything is, but we're just going to have a look. Oh, God. This is one I haven't read in. Actually, I'm not sure if I've ever read it. But Catherine the Great. Oh, and it's by the same guy who wrote a Tol Tolstoy's um, biography. Henry Troyat. So this will be a fun little uh, little read. That will be week number four. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.